Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. Folks who live and work near the Foley Airport are still talking about last week's terrifying plane crash. As News 5's Pat Peterson reports, interest has shifted from the incredible rescue of the pilot to the health and future of two beautiful live oaks that were damaged when the aircraft crashed. You can tell something really bad happened here. And he came through here, then ricocheted and came back and hit this one. But the property surrounding Adam Bond's automotive repair business looks a lot better than it did last week when a plane crashed into a massive live oak. The pilot escaped the burning twin engine Cessna with only a cut on his hand, but the crash severely damaged two live oaks, which have been on the property for about a century. The beautiful trees might not survive the burns, spilled aviation fuel, and chemical dispersants used to contain the fire. I don't want to see them bulldozed over. They've been here a long time. Adam Bond wants to save the trees, but it'll cost thousands. The insurance uh, doesn't cover anything to do with the plane crash. It certainly has a lot of uh, burning in there. Chris Francis is a board-certified master arborist. Yeah, live oaks are pretty tough and have a very thick bark, which helps them, um, you know, support uh, fire damage. And uh, even though it may look bad, it protects the inside of the tree. Francis says he could probably save the oaks, but it could cost as much as 10,000 bucks. If you do some of the chemical treatments, then you could really increase the likelihood of survivability. Uh, but it's really tough because it costs a lot of money. Even if the trees survive. You've got some damage to the trunk right here, and uh, trees don't really heal so much as they seal. It'll form some wound wood over that. These beautiful live oaks will always bear the scars of last week's horrific crash. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5.